Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. If this is the first time you have viewed one of my videos, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to be with me. I specialize in accounting and finance videos, but I get a lot of emails about Excel. A lot of my videos are done on account software or Excel. A lot of smaller businesses, startup businesses, use Excel for their accounts. And I get a lot of questions about Excel, hence why I have started a new course. And this is the first video in the course on how to use Excel or learning the basics of Excel. So in this video, we will learn some basics and this will be the first of many videos. At the end of the video, there should be a link appear on the screen. It's normally to the right. If you click on that, that will take you to the next video. Alternatively, you can go to my website and the videos will be listed. The website is www.bpfs, that's Bravo, Papa, Foxtrot, Sierra, hyphen, online.com. So bpfs hyphen online.com. You'll be able to find a page with all the videos listed. So in this video, we are going to start off the basics of Excel. Later on, once I have finished this course, there will be an advanced Excel training course. Um, once again, for free, it will be on YouTube. So here we go. Excel consists of columns and rows, which are alphabetical and numeric. Your rows are numeric, so you'll see down here, we have a number of rows on my screen. We have one to 35. So row one, row two, row three, row four, and so forth. If I scroll down using the scroll bar on the side, you'll see that these rows just go on and on and on and on. Okay, let's go back to the top. Excel also consists of columns which are alphabetical. So we have column A, which is down here, vertical, rows are horizontal, columns are vertical. So A, B, C, D, E, and so forth. These are our columns. When these columns and rows meet, they create a cell, which is one of these blocks. They look like bricks. And Excel is basically a huge table of cells which we can manipulate and use to create a thousand different documents, graphs, and other things that are used for business purposes, educational purposes, and hundreds of different purposes. It's a great piece of software. So a cell consists of a column and a row, and each cell is addressed or named by its column or row. So you'll see as I click on a cell, a column and row is highlighted. This is the column and row that meet to create this cell. So this cell is K9, N5, A1, G9. It reminds me of battleships, um, you know, fire, G9. If you play battleships, you'll know what I'm referring to. M6, A30. I think you get it. So cells consists of alphabetical columns and numeric rows. In each of these cells, we can enter text or numbers. So using a cell, I can put in my name, Sam. Enter, and my name or that text is now in a cell. I could even put in the current year, so 2015. So I've put in 2015 in cell J11, and some text 
J9. So go ahead and try it. You can enter text. Just hit enter once the text has been entered. And you can also enter numbers into each individual cell. We can also edit the text and numbers once they've been entered into a cell. So if I click on cell J9, which is my name, and go to the top here, you'll have a box which is your font box. If you hover the mouse over, it will say font. Now, depending on what Excel package you're using, your Excel may look slightly different to mine. That's not a problem. The layout is always very similar. You may find your font box is just over here or somewhere else at the top. But it should say something like Calibri in the box or Times New Roman, something like that. But if you click on the arrow, the downwards arrow on that box, then Excel will display a number of fonts you can use. Okay, look at all these fonts you can use in Excel. If you've used Microsoft Word, it's very similar. So let's choose a different font. Let's try this Roland. If I click on Roland, you'll see that the font has now changed. Usually next to the fonts, you'll have this smaller box with numbers in. This is your font size. So you can change the size of the text or numbers also. So we click on that drop, drop box. Let's go to size eight. You'll see that it gets smaller. Size 24, it gets bigger. So let's go to size eight. If you are not happy with a cell and you don't want the text or the numbers that are in a cell, all you need to do is highlight the cell. So let's highlight this cell, E6. And all I need to do is click the delete DEL on the keypad. It's normally above the number pad and it's gone. Alternatively, you can highlight a cell and click the backspace, which is the key with the left arrow, and that will delete the cell also. With the Dell key above the number pad, you can delete a number of cells at the same time. So if we highlight these cells and I click the Dell, you'll see that they all go. In the next video, I will show you how to copy cells, how to paste cells, and also how to merge cells and align cells. Thank you for watching. Please click on the link to continue.